G'day, Steve Morgan here, Australian Bass Tournaments. It's a pretty special day for me because I'm in Sydney, a place I love to fish for brim, and I've got a hold of the new Daiwa Infeet series of rods. We've commandeered Tom Slater's boat today. He designed these things and we get a few hours to come and fish my favourite place in the world, Middle Harbour for brim. Um, because I've got Tommy's boat, I get to raid his uh, tackle box and I found this dirty old imitation stick minnow here. It's a great technique in winter. Let's put this uh, Top of the line, $500 in feet to the test. So that is a couple of casts in to the new Daiwa in feet. This is the EX model, the top of the line. It's a pretty nice rod, but uh, Sydney, welcome back it says. Check out that lovely broom on a little sinking stick bait. That soft action just keeps those little hooks in and these aren't flash hooks, they're pretty ordinary those hooks. Keeps it in, keeps the fish on, love it. Now we've caught a couple of fish early on the stick minnows. We've, uh, we've got the crankbait out, a little deep diving crankbait there and a, uh, this one here is the, uh, the seven foot four, the, um, this is the middle one, the Z range. Um, very slow action, perfect for crankbaits and that is a perfect place to throw one. There's a real difference between the uh, between casting a fast action rod and a slow action rod for uh, for brim. These light lures, they you you really let the rod do the work with these slow actions. You need to really just let it load up, let it catapult it out there. Whereas people are used to with a fast action rod really having to get that rod tip speed up. You don't need to do it on these ones. I don't know if it's just Sydney or if it's the in feet, but check that out. One of the things about Sydney is Sydney people are often killjoys. Look at this, they've scraped all of the oysters off this bridge and lure manufacturers really, really hate it. But it does make it easy to get a cast along here. Cool bite. There it is. <laughs> and even though the oysters are gone, the brim aren't. And there's that crankbait rod again, that nice soft action. That's typical of this whole in feet range. They got the actions just right for the techniques. This is a quite a dark local fish. I reckon this one must live on the live on the bridge the whole time. Got that bronzy sheen to him. And smash that little crankbait. But this this is the, the mid-level in feet here. Um, $350 price point. It's got the silicon carbide stainless steel frame guides down below, but when you get to the top and you can see these different, different binding colours here, they're the titanium frame ones, and that just helps you with your casting. On the slow rods, any less weight that you can have in the top half of the rod is going to help that casting action, and uh, feels great in the hand, and this thing throws a crankbait really nicely. So the sun's come up a little bit now and we're on to our third technique of the day. We're going to fish some of the new Daiwa, the bait junkie plastics, uh, floating, stretchy material on one of the EX series in feeds here. I've chosen a shorter model now, it's the seven foot and it's a fast action, so a lot more suitable to popping these things up off the bottom. Uh, this one's rigged on a one sixth of an ounce head and I've sort of rigged it a little bit weedless to throw up amongst the rocks here and uh, let's see how the stiffer versions of these in feeds go. 